Hi friends. Um, we're living in a time where it is encouraged that we wear a mask and I don't really like to wear a mask and I'm in my office so I'm going to take my mask off. But there's a story in scripture uh, where Moses had gone up the mountain to be with God and the glory of God was so strong on him that it was reflected in his face. His face was literally glowing and it freaked the people out and so he put a veil on his face to cover up the glory of God as he was coming down from the mountain um, because he didn't want to freak the people out and so he would leave the veil on when he came down but in um, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13, it says, We are not like Moses, who would put a veil over his face to prevent the Israelites from seeing the end of what was passing away. See, he would wear the veil, but he would keep the veil on long past when the glory of God was actually there. And so, I think he was deceiving himself more than he was anybody else. He didn't want people to see that the glory was departing from his face because he wasn't in the presence of God anymore like he had been before. And a question that I want to ask you this morning is does the image that you project show what's really on the inside of you? You know, um, we wear what I want to call this morning a double D mask. Um, a mask of deception and a mask of denial. And I know that so often we deceive ourselves about who we are and what we are really like. And we think that we're deceiving others, but very often they can see better than we can uh, because we deceive ourselves. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, it says, Do not deceive yourselves. If any of you think you are wise by the standards of this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. And so we get kind of full of ourselves. We think that we have all the answers. And what he's saying is that we need to become fools for Christ. We need to humble ourselves before God and allow his wisdom to overtake our foolishness. Galatians 6.3 says that anyone thinks that they are something when they are not, they deceive themselves. We really do get full of ourselves. And so we wear this mask of deception where we think we're fooling everybody else, but really what's going on is that we're not quite what we say we are. Also, we wear a mask of denial. Proverbs 28, 13 says, Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. We deny that we have problems. We deny that we are living in sin. Um, there's another scripture in Proverbs that says, in Proverbs 30, verse 20 says, This is the way of the adulterous woman. She eats and, eats and wipes her mouth and says, I've done nothing wrong. And so we live a life sometimes where we are in denial of the things that we're actually doing, where we are living a sinful lifestyle, we're reaping the consequences of that, but we live in denial because we don't want to deal with those things. And so I challenge you today to allow the Holy Spirit to take your mask off, to allow Him to get inside of you, to where what's on the inside of you matches what appears on the outside of you to where you don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to be fake. You can be real because the real Holy Spirit is on the inside of you and it is shining His glory out through your face. Blessings, friend, and may the glory of the Lord truly shine forth from you today.